Yes, Tom. <laughs> All the businesses around me are my competitors, but none of them would fail to help me out if I needed it. You know, if somebody has a, a shortage of a product, um, I can go and borrow it from one of my competitors. There's a, a real sense of, of community here. It's nice, it makes it a nice environment to work in. There's a lot of banter. You have to be fairly thick skinned, but that's all part and parcel. It's, uh, we smile a lot, and that's what it's all about. <laughs> what you got? Basically, we, we arrive on the market around about 10 o'clock. We have to hit the floor running, the phones are ringing. There's emails to deal with, which are, are customers that have placed orders over email. We have also have to make sure that the products that are arriving are what we've ordered. The quantity's right, the quality's right. We put a display on so that our customers that are walking past are able to see what products we've got and what condition those products are in. And then it's a case of, of trying to straighten the stand up, tidy up, get everything stacked away, put into cold rooms and start to then assess what we're, we're going to need for the following day's trade. Uh, would you have a turmeric there, please? Could I borrow a box, please? I was going to send uh, young Paul down to come and grab it. We're a traditional wholesaler. The vast majority of our customers are catering distributors. So these guys will they'll come and give us a, a wholesale order. We'll deliver it to their premises. And then their orders are a lot more bespoke. So they'll take our full boxes of product and break them down into individual weights or individual pieces of fruit, depending on the product, and then slowly build their order for their customer. We have three sort of main departments. We have uh, the exotic side, which is the desk that I'm on, which covers everything from sort of limes to avocados, papayas, right through to the, the really weird and wonderful sort of prickly pears and tamarillos. My kids sometimes ask me to bring something different, so I try and educate them along the way and, and take something for them to try, whether it be a, a red pit or higher. It's very visually, it's very uh, entertaining. It's not quite what you'd expect in the inside but a very nice, fresh taste that uh, often ends up on some high-end restaurants on their fruit platters. So my kids particularly enjoy that. They might get that one today. My father came into this business uh, when Covent Garden was based at its original location. He followed his father into the business and that was the, the, the beginning for me, really, when I was old enough uh, working here during the summer holidays, half terms, and just really enjoying it, just in, enjoying the, the sort of freedom of working and, and the environment and the camaraderie that I mentioned earlier. It's been a, a nice way to, to grow into the business with somebody that you can trust 100% has got your best interests at heart. If I can get halfway as good as he was, um, then I've done well, I've done very well. But that's the goals and the ambition is to uh, make him proud, make my family proud um, and, and do a good job, you know. Unfortunately, I was uh, very ill three years ago, which meant I was unable to work. The support from this market, you know, not just my own company, um, which was phenomenal, um, but to have customers, suppliers, you know, two or three phone calls every single week uh, for four months from, from people seeing how you are, anything they can do for you, do you want me to pick the kids up, do you want me to drop something around for you. That makes a very, very tough period in my life um, a lot easier to deal with. The rise of the supermarkets has been the demise of the, the high street greengrocer. It's changed the face of our business that used to be predominantly a, a retail customer base to certainly in this market to a more focused catering supplier customer base. The explosion of restaurants in London has, has fueled that, which is fantastic. But in the same breath, people are, are cooking more indoors, more experimentally, they're trying new products. Uh, my dad used to go to work at five, six in the morning, um, and now we're here at 10 o'clock at night. So yeah, it's, uh, it has changed considerably, and probably will continue to. As things evolve, things have to change, it's as simple as that. <laughs>